Hey guys, welcome to episode 29 of Rock and Pop Vinyls. And we are still on the D's in my personal vinyl collection. And we uh, last week and the week before we were on Death Angel, which now brings us up to Disturbed. Now, with that said, I only own one Disturbed album on vinyl, and that is their third album, which is 10,000 Fists, which came out in 2005. Um, I have owned all the other albums in one form or the other, mainly on CD, but this is the only one I own on vinyl. I hope to change that very soon, but um, out of their records, this is easily, I would say my second favorite, being their, this, like I said, this is their third record. Their album before this, which was uh, Believe, is still my favorite Disturbed record. Not a big difference between the two. It's just more of a personal thing, actually. More uh, music hits me real, real kind of funny. Uh, it came out in a time in my life that it just made a big, big impact. Uh, when this record came out, I was um, going through a better part of my life, actually, and it was just thoroughly enjoyed. I actually got to see them live on this tour. This was a uh, really cool tour. They had they were uh, headlining Ozfest actually when I saw them. It was co-headlining with System of a Down. And uh, let me tell you something real quick about that particular tour. Um, you want to talk about this completely different bands, Disturbed and System of a Down. Uh, System of a Down, to be honest with you, didn't even belong on the same stage as Disturbed, and yet they were co-headlining. Um, they were flip-flopping, from what I understand, city to city, who would actually be the uh, closing act. And on the Phoenix tour, uh, System of the Down was the closing act, um, which was actually great. It was great background music as we walked out to our cars so we can beat the traffic home. That's how good System of the Down was. I'm not a fan of that band. I never will be a fan of that band. I will never promote that band. Um, garbage complete garbage but anyway disturbed not garbage blew them completely off the stage um, and that's just the way it was and it was a great tour there were so many great bands on that bill uh, hate breed freaking phenomenal just brought the house down uh, there was a secret band that tour so I guess every city it was either I, I don't know the specifics it could maybe it wasn't a, a, a new band I'm thinking it was because we were we were hitting the heyday of um, not not the height, but uh, social media was really catching fire. So I don't think they could have hid bands about being. But the the uh, secret band on that tour was Avenged Sevenfold. It was awesome. They had a great set. It was great to see Jimmy the Rev Sullivan. You know, no one knew that he was going to pass away years later. Uh, Lacuna Coil was on that uh, same stage. They had an awesome performance. Um, the opener for that set, I believe, was Dragon. Force. Um, that's all I got to say about that. Incredible musicians, but just, man, two decades behind in what they're trying to deliver. But anyway, this was the album for that tour. Distor Disturb blew me away. Uh, Dave Draymond just has an amazing way to captivate an audience. There was seriously so many people there. And this, actually, and that show was in June, so I don't know if it was the heat or just the awesome delivery, but it was an amazing concert. Um, I'm a big fan of Disturbed. Uh, they went on hiatus for a while. They had one more album after this, which was Indestructible. They took a break, and then they came back with Immortalized in 2015. Then it seems like they're back for good right now, so that's, that's great. But anyway, um, for this episode, because it is the only uh, Disturbed album I have in vinyl, it's 10,000 Fists, so we're going to dive right into that. And of course, on this channel which is called rock and pop vinyls all albums are played on vinyl so let's get into it all right so this week the heat completely won the battle of my out in the wild i don't have an out in the wild this week at all um, i went out one time it was a busy week in terms of geekdom and collecting uh, this is uh this weekend is the SDCC, San Diego Comic Con. Just geeking out all weekend, watching a lot of other channels and everything that's coming out at the SDCC has been amazing. The panels, the announcement of the new uh, MCU features. Um, I 
have a strong opinion right now about that, but I need to kind of let simmer down a little bit. I don't know what to make of the MCU offerings right now. I'm going to kind of simmer down a little bit, like I said, mainly because it was a mixed, uh, you know, in years past, the MCU offerings have been their film slate. Well, the next slate for them is what they're doing in television and movies. I think I was just kind of like thrown off a little bit. Uh, I know the Doctor Strange next movie, that, that was a movie. Um, Thor, Love and Thunder. So this is going to be a Thor film with uh, us having a female Thor, which is played by Natalie Portman, who is reprising her role as Jane Foster, where she becomes Thor, from what I gather. Um, that was an actual story arc, so I don't want to really get into that. I'm more of a collector than a comic book guy, but uh, I plan on having a comic book expert on this channel soon to uh, either confirm, deny, or fill in the blank at my knowledge of comic books. But that, that one seems a little interesting. Um, it's returning the director from Thor Ragnarok, so I'm excited about that. Uh, the Pops that came out this year, um, not my favorite. Uh, my matter of fact, I, I have to believe uh, 2017, 2018 really spanked this year's summer offerings. Not saying there isn't any good ones. I mean, there were plenty of good ones. But uh, I think uh, as fans, we were kind of spoiled over the last two, um, um, not spoiled, like eggs, spoiled, sorry, um, with the offerings. Uh, 2018 summer offerings were really impressive. 2017 so it was really off the charts, um, but there were still some good ones out there. Uh, probably I think the only out in the wild I did is I did go out and get this guy right here from um, GameStop. This is the Teal Chrome Batman, shared exclusive, and he is fantastic. Um, it's amazing the value of a sticker, having the uh, shared exclusive sticker, this pops value right now already. It's only been out three, four days, at about $26, but if you were to have the San Diego Comic-Con official sticker, as of this morning, he's worth $110. But uh, yeah, so I picked him up. That's the only out in the wild to talk about this week. He's phenomenal. He really is. Um, there was quite a few I wanted, but the, the save on time, money, I couldn't go to San Diego Comic Con. Of course, I'm not going to drive around everywhere looking for these. I gave up on that. It's way too hot. I ordered every single shared exclusive online. I really did. And uh, I already have a few of them here with a mail call coming up. And I will talk about other ones coming out next week in next week's episode's mail call, but we'll go into mail call next. Alright guys, and we are back with mail call. Um, it's not a big mail call this week, but it's some exciting stuff. And we're going to start right off with Amazon. And uh, this is the only box I end up getting. And the uh, box looks in great shape, but it doesn't sound like a whole lot of protection in here. So uh, that kind of scares me a little bit. But this should be a shared exclusive with Amazon from the SDCC, San Diego Comic Con, that I was talking about earlier. This should be the green chrome Bubba Fett from Star Wars. And it's exactly what it sounds like. We, well, they, they put a little something in here. That's, that's it. A little air pocket bag here. But outside of that, that was it. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So... Doesn't looks in pretty good shape. Uh, it's got a little scuff mark on the front cover, but it definitely is the green chrome Bubba Fett. This is the shared exclusive with the SDC SDCC this week um, from Amazon. So it's in pretty good shape. I don't see anything wrong with it, other than some minor scuffing here. Probably can't really see that, but. Uh, well, there's a small ripple right here in the display, but it seems to be that's starting to become more of a common thing. Uh, probably doesn't help just throwing it in a box with a little bit of plastic air 
bubble, but uh, he's really cool looking. I really like that. I like him a lot better than the uh, the the, um, solid, so the Star Wars Celebration one, which is gold. He was cool looking, but this one's just got some really cool. That is awesome. All right, cool. So there's the uh, Boba Fett. Next up is Target. So Target had a uh, shared exclusive. And, well, they had a couple of them. I just wasn't interested in the second one at all. This wasn't up my alley. But this one should be the Teen Wolf. I just sliced the heck out of that packing slip. But all right, let's see if Target fared a little bit better in the packing. Um, we got oh, we got multiple. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we have the Scott Howard Teen Wolf. Let's look at the packaging really quick here. All right, we are, wow, we are in fantastic shape, other than a couple little scratches on the display gap, glass. But here is a uh, Scott Howard from Teen Wolf. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm talking about a couple little line scratches right here. But outside of that, we'll give it a little spin. Uh, I like the little Walkman headphones. That's pretty cool. I loved this movie when I was a kid so much. I didn't care too much for the sequel with Jason Bateman. Um, it, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't horrible, but this one with Michael J. Fox, loved it. And, it's, and the funny thing about Teen Wolf is I loved the movie as a kid. It was fitting. It was an 80s, 80s movie. But I remember when MTV came out with the TV show, and I stayed away from it, man. I was just like, man, this is going to be corny. And of course, that was just the, the funny day of me not doing my homework. Um, but years later, after it stopped airing on uh, MTV, I had a fire stick, stick that I ordered from Amazon. And I just plugged it in, was learning how to use it. And of course, Amazon Prime came up. And I just wanted to click the first show just to see how my fire stick would work. And uh, the first show on there is the Teen Wolf. I didn't really care. I just wanted to see the fire stick work. So I pressed play. Teen Wolf started. And like I said, I was just trying to see my fire stick work. And I got hooked, man. I got sucked in hook, line, and sinker. And I watched, I mean, completely binged it over about a month. Course of a month. I fell in love with the show. I thought they did a phenomenal job with it. Um, I, I get it that it, you know it lasted six seasons and some people wanted it to last longer but they really couldn't do any more with it I I thought it was a phenomenal show to the point that I'm actually re-watching it now again because I enjoyed it that much now of course that show completely like I said I, I was being a buddy duddy and I just I automatically assumed it was be corny like the movie and kind of funny and, and it was the direct opposite it was more serious um, it had a lot of under undertone notes that were very similar to the Buffy the Vampire Slayer show, um, but actually I thought this show was ten times better. It was uh, the writing on it was great. They kept you interested the whole time to the point I'm actually watching it again, like I said, a second time around. But um, I ended up getting those pops when they came out as well. But this is just a cool looking pop. I really like this. I actually ordered the. Um, Matter of fact, he might be here in this order. Go figure. And I actually ordered the regular, the non-exclusive, because I, I, I like it that much. But yeah, he is really cool. So there we are. Scott Howard, Team Wolf, SDCC, shared exclusive. And that was with Target. All right, so next up we have... Uh, this is Hot Topic. Okay, so this actually might be the box I ordered with the regular Scott McCall from Team Wolf. Um, this was pre SDC SDCC launch. This was just pops that I would that I found. I was trying to use some of my hot cash that I had left over, which was awesome. I was able to do that. So let's see. This is hot topic. All right, awesome. We're back to normalness with hot topic. Whoops, <laughs> almost dropped it. Uh, all in sorters. Got three sorters. Great. And these are all labeled. Yes, I was right. So here we are. We have the Scott Howard regular pop from Team Wolf. 
and the only difference here is well the actually big difference the, the uh, exclusive let's check this out real quick all right he's in great shape actually they're usually uh, with uh, some of these exclusives they don't stray very far I think I told you last week when I was talking about the 11 exclusive that that's a ridiculous exclusive that is there's nothing cool about that pop from stranger things I was talking about the hot topic exclusive but these cool these two are completely the, this is the way you're supposed to do it so this is the one I just had come in right now this is a Scott Howard he's in his basketball uniform no shades and I believe their team was called the Beavers but see he's in his basketball uniform he's got the ball and then the exclusive he's in his letterman jacket with his cool shades and his what that is what an exclusive is supposed to be Okay, that's what that's supposed to be. This is a cool set. This is awesome. They need to be very, I mean, polar, not polar opposites, but, you know, stand out and be cool. Like, this is awesome. Like, you would want this in your collection. That's what an exclusive is. And to be honest with you, this would be the common, and he's way cool. So I'm really excited about that. So anyway, my little tangent there. Uh, next up, we have... Oh, okay, cool. So this is, I, I haven't got the whole collection of this yet, but I was a, I'm a huge fan of The Office. So The Office Pops are now surfacing. They just came out. I went ahead and pre-ordered Michael Scott. I love this show. And this is one of those shows where I didn't, I stayed away from it. I ended up catching it on um, Netflix. And it, and it had nothing to do with if I liked it when it actually originally aired. It just... I work 80 hours a week. I can only watch so many shows. So I just was like, well, I'll get to that when I get to it. And when I finally got around to it, man, let me tell you, I just love this show. I had the same reaction to Parks and Rec. I, that was another show I pushed aside. Watch Parks and Rec. And I watched that on Netflix as well. And I just fell in love with the show. But here we are, Michael Scott. He's in great shape. That's what is this cup saying? World's best boss. boss. So... We have Michael Scott, and the day I was ordering this, I was online using my hot cash on Hot Topic, and it was one of the few times where Hot Topic was like, not necessarily, not a countdown, but it was letting you know how many they had left of a, of a particular pop to buy, and when I got on that morning, this pop, they only had six left, and I was like, man, I really want to use my hot cash, I really want to get that, you know, just go ahead and jump on it, he's going to be gone in a second, and of course, he's easily probably my favorite character on the show. Joy Shroot. Now, he's readily available now at both Box Lunch and Hot Topic, but at the particular time, you know, to use that hot cash, they, they, they said they had six left. I was like, get, get, buy, buy, buy. So here we are. Dwight Shroot. Awesome. He's in great shape. Some minor scuffing here on the glass, but that's about it. So that is awesome. All right, so... Hey, that, that's a fantastic mail call, and, uh, you know, to already have two of my exclusives in hand. I have several exclusives coming in next week. Um, they'll be here, they, um, I'm going to say by Wednesday, I'm going to have them, so that's cool. And of course, let's not forget the Teal Chrome Batman, so that is my, at least I have three of my exclusives right now. I actually ended up... I promised myself that I would not go crazy this year, and I, man, I, I just fail all the time. I'm just, I'm an addict, I'm a collector, I, there's certain things I gotta have, and like I said, I, we have three of them right here, but I actually ended up buying 12 exclusives. So we have nine more on the way, and they should hopefully all be here by episode number 30, and we have a big SDCC shared exclusive mail call party and yeah hey guys and welcome back to rock and pop vinyls and we are here with taylor taylor and we're going to be doing guest set pop but it's a little bit different this time we have two mystery boxes and with competing companies, uh, I'll give you a little um, little uh, preface pretty much to both these boxes. I have one from Plastic Empire out in Georgia, 
and the other is Galactic Toys, I believe, out in Michigan. I'll double check that in a minute. But anyway, uh, they're relatively cheap, so I'm not expecting a whole lot coming from the boxes, but they both have a cool little uh, novelty added to them. Uh, the one, I believe, from Plastic Empire is a box of six pops, guaranteeing two exclusives. The one from Galactic Toys is a box of four, but with all four being exclusives. So, there you go. Out of the 10 I'm going to get here, I'm going to get a total of six exclusives. I'm pretty excited. Regardless of, like I said, the boxes were relatively cheap. I'm not expecting a whole bunch, but we do have fun with these mystery boxes. Taylor enjoys it. I enjoy it. And she likes to stump me, which, of course, in turn, all she has to do is stump me one time. And she gets a uh, cool little prize. So, anyway, let's introduce the combatants. We'll go with the smaller one right there. This is our box from Galactic Toys. Oh, from Grand Rapids, Michigan, so I was correct. Again, this is a box of four. Guaranteed all four being exclusives, so that's pretty cool. But and sadly, it's dented. It is dented, and I'm kind of concerned about that. That's why I get a that. sad face when I hold yeah. it Yeah, got a giant dent here. Kinda Some dents are over there. Right in here. And with it being a box with only four in it, this doesn't look too promising because this looks like it would fit exactly for maybe with some cushion, maybe some bubble wrap. I don't know, but anyway. All right, so instead of putting both boxes up here, like this one is a box four, that one's a box six, we're just going to base it, base this strictly off the guessing process that we do. And then at the end of both boxes, we'll determine who wins. Galactic Toys or who's the other one? Oh, Plastic Empire. All right, so I will at least get the process of the box started. And I will check if there's a box in a box. There's Taylor. I really doubt there's a box in a box. Look at the size yeah. of this thing. Unless so, you got a smaller box. Yeah. That can hold so, like four pops. And of course, don't want people playing with a box cutter that shouldn't be playing with one. Okay, there's bubble wrap. Okay. No box in a box. No box in a box. No box in a box. All right, so with that said, I'm going to turn around, and uh, all right, yeah, I'm excited. So Four exclusives. Yeah. Papa is guessing. Yes, I am guessing. No, Papa so. Ringo. All right, Papa Ringo. Wait. I like that. Okay, there we go. All right. So same, same rules. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! She's excited. Oh, right. it's because I, it's from something. Are that... they damaged? Huh? Are they damaged from the dent? They're in they pop look... protectors. What? Yeah, they're all in box all protectors. All four of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, all of them. Do they look in good shape? Well, this one does. Okay, we'll go from there. I actually kind of want this one. So this is from a game. Oh. It's from a game that me and Mama really want so bad. Okay. I swear I told you. Um... That doesn't help me because I don't play games. I know, but I told you about it. Okay. Um, it's about, um, so you are a kid in this game, and there's a neighbor, and you want to get in his house. <laughs> so it's a game that encourages, encourages you to break and enter? Uh -huh. No, because, what? because he threw someone into his basement. And I am going to give up right away. Hello, you neighbor, win. the neighbor. The oh, neighbor cool. with glue. I have no idea so, what this is. He's a cool looking pop. I want that. Oh, okay. It's a Walmart exclusive. It's called The Neighbor with Glue. This? Um, looks very cartoonish, so it does say it's games. It's kind of creepy. But that's kind of cool. He like chokes you. He's in he really good you. shape. He did come in a pop. He's in a pop protector. And uh, that's what we see. like. Oh, cool. He came out in 2017 and uh, he's got the company stamp right here. Galactic Toys. GalacticToys.com. It's a very popular game. Hmm. A lot I'll of tell you what, if the rest of the box it. goes like this. I'm going to have a lot of high praise. This is really cool. That's a cool looking pop. Even though I know nothing about it, it's a cool looking pop. I dig it. All right. You win, Taylor. You. She's already won, folks. So. It's cool. Maybe yeah. if you want, since you are watching this video right now, maybe if you want, after you are done watching this, you can search Hello Neighbor. Nah, uh, yeah. And you can watch the game and see what it's about if you have no idea what it is. 
Some okay. of you might. Okay, next Box one. Number two. Just a little thing. Me and my mom really want that game. Uh, this is from television. Okay. Where are y'all? I can show you that. Um, this guy wears a lot of green. Hmm. And... Does it look like a show maybe I would watch? It looks like a... Well, he has a mask on, so I guess... Kind he, of. He's got a mask on? Yeah. Does it look like it would be like a comedy show? No. Or more like serious? I don't know. I think it's like a superhero show. I don't know. A superhero show? I don't know. Thanks. Oh, boy. He's wearing... Okay. He wears a lot of green. Mm-hmm. Is it... That doesn't help. Um, green, green, green. Uh, is he wearing scrubs? What's a scrub? Okay, like you'd see someone wearing in a doctor's office? No. No? Okay. Well, I lost this one too. So. The Green Hornet. Oh, cool. Oh, I, I'm excited, excited. I actually wanted this pop. I mean, he's not an expensive pop at all. He's part of the specialty series. And, of course, the specialty series is pops that are made exclusively for, like, mom and pop comic book shops. Um, but I've really wanted him. So I'm excited. He looks in great shape. That's two pops I don't have. They are exclusives. And uh, this one came out in 2018. And it's got the Galactic Toys st stamp right here at the bottom of the protector, which is pretty cool. Looks like these are custom protectors for Galactic Toys. But yeah, that's exciting. I, I actually, Taylor, I wouldn't have guessed this one just because I have it's very obscure to me. But um, it is one I want. That is super. Do you know awesome. anything about this show? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I wouldn't have expected it to be in this box. He looks like a superhero. He is, no, you're right. You nailed everything. A lot of green mask. <laughs> superhero. I mean, I didn't. Know you what couldn't have done any better, really. I know. I don't know a lot. He is such a cool looking pop. The one that I knew most I'm excited about was because um, this guy. This weekend at San Diego Comic Con, they released Kato. So now I have a reason to get Kato because I have the Green Hornet. So, okay, cool. Awesome. All right, number three. Okay, you are going to hate this. Am I? You hate these pops. You never really want to collect these. This is, a, this is from television. Okay. They're superheroes, kind of. Okay. Um, but they're not the only ones that you like. And da 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 da. Is it a cartoon? No. Um. Hmm. And it's ooh. from television. Yes. And you said they're superheroes. Yes. Like like Marvel superheroes. No. Like DC. No. Hmm. Is it? Are they are they funny and corny? Uh, no. I haven't watched this show in a while. It's something oh. that kids would watch. Oh. It's like a kid TV show. It's oh. like on Nickelodeon. Oh. Wow, I am totally losing on this box. Um, Superheroes, Nickelodeon, do you like it? So it means everything I don't like. Ah, <laughs> just okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's That's from it. Power Rangers. It's Tommy. Oh the my, Power Lanta, Ranger. you are right. Ugh. The poor thing. Well, there is a couple things cool about this pop. One, it is uh, celebrating 25 years of Power Rangers. It's got a cool little sticker. This is actually a Galactic Toys exclusive. So this is pretty neat. Um, Tommy's wearing green here, so I expect he's a green Power Ranger. Yep, he's the green Power Ranger without the mask. Now, regardless of if I collect these or not, this is a super cool looking pop. I've never I, seen the Power Rangers without their masks on. on yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, they all look from the back. It looks like they all mm -hmm. have their masks off. This came out in. Um, whoop, I don't see the stamp. Uh, no, nope, there's no stamp on here. So anyway, it's a uh, like I said, it's got this cool 25 year sticker on here. It's a Galactic Toys exclusive. Um, what I can say right now about these three pops, one, the coolness of the factor is it, so far it's four pops. They are all exclusives. They all come in pop protectors. They all look to be in really good shape. I mean, I'll have to determine that by taking them out of the pop protectors, but I right now am thoroughly impressed with Galactic Toys. What do you think? I think this is awesome. I think it's cool. I think these people might win. I will win. Because with this dented box, 
And they then are they're awesome. Cut. They are awesome. All right, I'm excited. Even though I'm striking out completely. That's all right. I like striking out. Uh... All right, number four. Final, oh, final. No. Oh, no, what? Oh, no, I did not notice this. It's damaged? No, not really. You can fix this. Just Wait a minute. You say not really. You can fix this. That means it's damaged. No. Oh. No, just like the the top of the pop protector came off. Oh. And she's oh, kind of dislodged from her thing. Okay. So she could I totally can, okay. fix that. But the box is not damaged or anything? Yes. Okay, she cool. is a. Is it a girl? Cool. She has a bobblehead. Oh, bobblehead. That means yes. Star Wars or Marvel. Yes. Marvel. And, yeah. Okay. Wait. That means I just gave you three hints. That's it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Because I told you it's Marvel. It's a girl, and it's a bobblehead. Oh. <laughs> well, I get three guesses. Is it like a Marvel movie? Uh, yeah. Is it Captain Marvel? No. Black Widow. No. Hmm. You only get three guesses, dude. Fine. What? Emma Frost. Oh, cool. I don't have her either. See, she's kind of dislodged. Oh, yeah, I can fix that. You are correct. Yeah, and the thing just was off. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. Oh, the pock. Yeah, it looks in great shape. And she was on the bottom, so and she, she should be And she is fine. another limited exclusive. This is a specialty series again. This is Emma Frost, and she is kind of... Dislodged. Taking a nap. No, she's just resting. <laughs> she's like, I, I can definitely fix that. No big deal. That is awesome. Just take her out of the box and then yeah. put her back. In. I like this whole box. I even like the Power Ranger Tommy. Wait, you even like the Hello Neighbor? I like the Hello Neighbor. He's kind of cool. You he gotta show kinda, Mama that. He looks kind of. Oh, there is a dent. On <gasps> that. You see it? There's a scratch. <laughs> just a little How ripple dent. How could you dent. do this to the neighbor? How could you really? do this? Ow. I don't get to draw the dramatics here. But. Dude, it's a famous game. It's okay, like very so, popular. It's still cool looking pop. Yeah. Alright, cool. So that is the Galactic yes. Toys. Dun, dun, dun. How the heck they are all exclusives. And they were Olin Pop Protectors. In 3D. Only one was kind of damaged. Yep, that's with good. just a little tear. Yep, that's good. All right, so we're going to move on to our Plastic Empire box with six characters in it. Now, this may have a box in a box. They're pretty good yeah, about that. Yeah, because it's big and... All right, so this is Plastic Empire out of, I believe, if I'm saying it correctly, it's, Mer it's either Marietta Wait. or Marietta, Wait. Georgia. Okay, there is a box. I, I saw this and I'm like... Wait, is there not? Holy packing, that cool. All right, That's so cool how they packed it, kind of. Way packed. Help, three room. All right. Let's bring out. I just threw that block. So, yeah. Okay. Let's Going crazy over here with let's the boxes. Let's open this tiny box. Okay, we'll do box. it from the bottom. For we don't see any. Well, he doesn't see anything. Well, I completely lost anyway, so you get your gift regardless. Yay! I was completely stumped in that last box. You didn't show them. I'm a gift. Okay. Um, okay, right. yep. It's totally on the bottom. You are good. You are good. All right. So okay. this box is a box of six with a guaranteed two exclusives. Yep. I can already see the two exclusives. They're in pot protectors. Oh, sweet. The rest are not. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna save the exclusives for last. Okay. Fair enough. Nice. Um, this is from a fantasy movie. There y'all go. No, I don't like fantasy movies. Um, this is from a movie that Tori likes. And you said it's fantasy? Mm-hmm. Like, not science fiction fantasy, so, um, well, I don't know. Like, who? Like Dark Crystal fantasy? What do you mean? Or like, okay, you probably don't know what Dark Crystal is. Never mind. No. I probably, uh, Harry Potter? Yes. Kind of? Oh, Harry Potter. Um, is it Harry Potter? Yes. Oh, boy. There's a million Harry Potter, so I'm just going to say that's a win. I guessed it. Wait, I'm not going to let you see it because I'm going to tell you about it. Okay. So it ha he has the broom in his hand. Okay. You don't even know anything about it, this nope. thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to let you see it. It's cool. It's cool. a game. Oh, yeah. You try I, to catch the thing. Yeah, I actually have him. 
Oh. Yeah, this is the, Ooh, I'm going to surprise myself, but I think it's called Quidditch or something. But he's yes. holding this little dude right here in his hand. Looks like a flying mini orb looking thing. I don't know. Like a, I don't know what it is. Looks like a robot mosquito. I don't know. But I actually do have him because even though I'm not big into these, I do have a pretty extensive Harry Potter collection. He's actually a pretty cool pop. I've actually had a lot of inquiries about people wanting to buy some of my uh, Harry Potters off my um, offer up site. So, huh. And this is one of them. He's in really good shape. No tears, no rips. There's a little ripple right there in the back, but it's just a ripple. No oh, baby, baby ripple. All right, cool. So I got Harry Potter. Yay! I'm one for what, five? <laughs> All right, what's up? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, this is from a show that uh, you, Mommy, and Tori like. Okay. It's a fantasy show-ish. Okay. I would say it's fantasy because of the characters in it. Is it Stranger Things? Yes. Okay. Now guess the character. Mmm, tough. Um... Is it 11? No. Mm -hmm. Is it... Oof. It's a boy? Yes. Okay. Older or like a boy? He looks like he's older. Is it Bob? Yes. Ooh, I... But Bob. he's in a specific outfit. Either he's dressed as a vampire? No. Or he's dressed in scrubs like a doctor. Yes. Okay, cool. Bob. Yes, <laughs> I like this. I have this one too. Oh. Because I, I like did. Bob. I thought he was such a cool t character. And I like the actor. Rudy! Bob in scrubs. Okay, remember earlier when I asked you if the, the, if the Green Hornet was wearing scrubs? Yeah. That's scrubs. Yeah, That's I know. That's what scrubs look yeah. like. Okay. Bob in scrubs. So yeah, I have this one already. It's a cool um, common. It's in great condition, so I can't really complain. So, hey, I got... Daddy, you oh. are going to be so upset right now. Oh, no. You, it's um, animation. It's Isaac loves it. Isaac is my brother-in-law, just for the album. Isaac know. loves it. It's animate. Does Is it like... Like... Fun. Is it like Dragon Ball Z type? Yep. Is it Dragon Ball Z? Yep. I don't know any of those characters. Other than the fact they're weird looking and it's animation. Um, is he a monster? Is he a human? Looks like a monster. His name is Ahuga Huga Huga. No. Okay, because that's about the best I'm going to do with Dragon so, Ball Z. So, this is a win. That's a win for me. That's my first one what? on this box. I said Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, but you didn't get the character. We only do... I just said it's Hugga Hugga Hugga. No. That is not the character. I want Funko to make a Dragon Ball Z Hugga Hugga Hugga. But and Daddy, it's... they only make them if it's a real character from the show or whatever. Perfect Cell. Oh, he's kind of cool Wait, turn looking. Wait, the back. That It shows like a picture of him from the... Oh, he is cool and kind of cool looking. So he, doesn't he look like a monster kind of? Yeah, kind of. He looks like a mo yeah, there's a little bit of damage. He's got some ripples down here, but the top is in good shape. The, oh, wow. Big ol' ripple right there. Oh, no, I thought that was great. Never mind. Nope, just lint. Little ripple right there. Okay, so this guy is called Perfect, Perfect Cell. Cell. I don't know anything about Jeez. this, and uh, he will... Probably end up in. I, I've got an ever growing Dragon Ball Z availability pile happening now. I think I'm up to four. So, anyway, in pretty good shape. It's got a little dent right there, but it is what it is. Okay, number four. Yes. This is from Disney. Okay. Uh... Is it like a movie? Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. It doesn't say, like, movies under pop. Oh, it just says Disney? Or mm -hmm. does it just say pop? Yeah, it just says pop there. But it is Disney. Yes. Does it say Disney, like, right above the head part? Like, like in this part right here? 
Does it say Disney? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It says Disney. Okay. I can't say the other thing. Um, Disney, so... But I don't want to... Do you think I have it already? No. Oh, really? Is it from... It's not like a princess or anything, or like... Is it from, like, um, Nightmare Before Christmas or something? No. No. I don't know if I showed that to you. There is it you. human or is it an animal? It is not human nor animal. Oh, it's a beast of some sort? Kind of. Mm. Okay, I give. It's from Gargoyles. Oh, wow. You know, I used to watch this <laughs> back in the day. He's cool looking. His name is Lexington. I don't have him, so I'm glad to welcome to my Disney World. Yay! And he's in great shape. Look at all the characters that you can get in Oh, the yeah. He's fun. This is one of those collections where I wasn't really shying away from. It just, uh, the, when they came out, the market was so saturated. And I was like, uh, I can get them when I want. But now, of course, what happens once is I get one, I have to get the rest. So this will be the start of that. Oh, yeah. He's cool looking. He's in really good shape. He's fun. Look. He's got little wings. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. Awesome. Okay. okay. So. Now, guys, it is time for the... Exclusive. Exclusive reveal. Reveal. Let's do it. Well, it's not a reveal for me, but... Right. <laughs> I'm going to start with one that you are probably going to be kind of excited about. I don't know. This is actually a Walmart exclusive. Okay. This is a bobblehead. Okay, so Star Wars or Marvel. Yep. Oh, it's heavy. Heavy. Ooh, okay. Is it from a movie? Yes. Do I already have it? I don't know. Is it Marvel? No. Oh, it's Star Wars. Yes. Oh, wow. Um, a Walmart exclusive of Star Wars. I mean, I'm sure that's happened before. I just, for some reason, I'm not placing that in my memory here. Um, hmm. Oh, it, oh, it could be from Solo, huh? I don't know. Don't think so. All right, I give. It's Kylo Ren Unmasked. Oh, cool. Um, I actually, you know what's funny? I don't think I have this one, but it's one of those situations where I very well could. I have such a large Star Wars. Hmm. But even if you do have him, I don't. I honestly don't think I do. I, but I have a lot of Kylo Ren's. I really mm -hmm. do. I have a lot of them. But for some reason, I'm not placing this one. Especially the Walmart exclusive. Okay, so actually, that's kind of cool. I like it. You're right. It does definitely got some weight to it. The pop itself looks to be in good condition. But the, the protector's really scuffed. So I'm going to take it out just really quick just to see if it's more of the protector instead of the pop. Hopefully just it's just I'm, the protector. I'm just curious. Okay, so there's a little bit of denting right here, right across here. But the the display glass area is good. The rest of the box is good. There's a tiny baby ripple right here in the back. But other than that, this is pretty sound. And this came out in 2015. Um, yeah, so the, the pop protector is definitely just really scuffed but hey it's pretty cool I'm, I'm pretty I'm almost guaranteed Taylor I don't have this one but I will have to go into my PPG just to double check but hey so far so good all five pops are in pretty good shape I like them all except for the Dragon Ball dude but it is what it is all right last one now the last one and I don't think you're gonna get this because I have nothing I don't even know anything about it, so you're probably not going to um, get it. Okay. Because these are going to be some bad, 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 bad. It's going to be a bad pop or bad hints? No, bad hints. Okay. Um, This is a dog. A wearing, what? This is a dog. A dog. Wearing clothes. Okay. What's the genre? Is it a movie? Is Animation. It... Oh, jeez. Like Disney animation or just like animation? I don't know because it does not say Disney above the head and it does not say Disney under pop. It says animation under pop. So I don't know because I have nothing. Is it from a movie? Still don't know. 
It's a dog. Yes, wearing clothes. Wearing clothes. Animation. I'm thinking like Hanna Barbera or something along those lines. Do you remember when? Remember when we opened that alligator thing? Yeah. What was that thing called? Wally the Wally the? Is it is it like that? Uh, kind of. But... Like Wally Gator. Remember? Yeah. Okay, so it's along those lines. Mm-hmm. Because this dog is like standing with his hands on his hips. So, oh. do you like him? Is he cute? Oh, he looks cute. I have nothing to know about this. Well, I'm gonna. I my spidey sense trademark is um, tingling towards in the realm of Hanna by Hanna by Barbera, um, but. You're saying dog, and it's kind of throwing me. When I think Hanna Barbera, I think Yogi Bear, and I think um, Scooby Doo, I think things like that. Um, I don't know. It is from Torchy Turtle and Dum Dum. Oh wow! It is. Dum-Dum. I was totally on par with uh, the Hanna Barbera, so it's it's uh, yeah, it it is Hanna Barbera. This is a um, New York Comic Con limited edition. So it's got the cool New York Comic Con sticker on there. I like that. Um, this uh, pop protector has definitely seen better days. I mean, it is. A yeah, it has like bad, sticker, bad shape. Sticker smudge. Uh, yeah, it is in horrible shape. Unless that's the pop. Yeah. I so. Yeah. And it even has like little scuffs. Yeah, it does. Like I mean, scratch marks. Here, you can. Oh, um, it's all on the top and stuff, yep. y'all. But with that said. The pop inside is freaking immaculate. Check that out. We might have to get them a new little spinny spin little spin. Thing. We don't got a dent. We don't have a scratch. We don't have a ripple. Top is good. We might have to get Bottom him a new pop good. protector. He came out last year, 2018. He's kind of cool. I like him. He's in great shape. And like I said, he has the actual comic-con sticker on here from the new york comic-con that goes a long way this isn't a shared exclusive this is directly from the comic-con so he's cool um i don't know anything about this um cartoon to be honest with you but it is uh definitely hannah barbera so i was dead on right about that so cool all right so wow it's, this was a good box oh i know you're ready for your prize prize prize, prize. Right. yeah okay, but, you got, but, you but we have to we have to vote so uh. hey guys we're going to uh, want some feedback from you. Put it down in the comments down below. But who do you think won? The four-pack exclusive, all-exclusive box from Galactic Empire? Is that your favorite? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Or the six with two exclusives from Plastic... Wait, did I say called oh, Galactic... Galactic Toys. I combined on accident. Galactic Toys. So that's her thumbs up, right? Yep. What's um, your thumbs or up, Plastic Daddy? Empire with their two exclusives. Well... I got to give hats off to Plastic Empire for managing to send six pops, minimum damage. I liked, I liked three out of the four regulars they sent, and I kind of dug both uh, exclusives. Um, this one's kind of cool because it's got the actual original New York Comic Con sticker that goes a long way with me. Um, I may have this one already. Um, man, that's tough. You know what? I'm going to have to call it a draw. I don't know. We'll I don't know. I'll tell you this. I will definitely do toy, uh, business with Galactic Toys again. That was... Um, hmm, I want to call it a draw, but this box... I like the diversity of this box. It was all over the place. Um, hmm. You know what? I think you're right. I think Galactic Toys won this round. Four exclusives. All like, right. But, it's, it, but I'm torn. Uh, she was all over it. She's like Galactic Toys all the way. I'm teeter-tottering. It could have gone either way. Um, I definitely home run out of the ballpark in overall value between these two boxes um, compared to what I paid. So, hey, I dig it. Okay, Taylor. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes for he can show you guys. <laughs> Well, we're staying within the realm of what we're doing, and normally I step outside and give her something a little different, but since we're on a pop kick, and we just came out of seeing this just recently, so this is hers. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, open your eyes. Share funny! Oh my gosh. In my room, on my shelf, I organized my pops a few days ago. I have no more room for Disney. <laughs> 
Well, you always have room for Sheriff Woody because he's freaking awesome. Okay, so uh, that's it for the uh, Guess That Pop slash Battle of the Two Companies. And uh, I guess if we're going to call it, with us here, we're going to call it Galactic Boys as the winner. What do you guys think? Let us know down below what your vote is. And yeah, so uh, that's going to be it for Rock and Pop Vinyls this week. And we will see you all next week. Maybe with uh, Sheriff Woody here. Yippee, yeah, cool, yeah, yay. Yeah, I don't know how to say <laughs> all that. All right, we'll see you later, guys. He has a little lasso. Oh, bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, yeah. All right, sound check one, sound check two, sound check. I like avocados in salsa and guacamole. We're yeah, done. yeah, 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 uh, oh yeah. Sound check over. Stop it, you know.